Uh, well, a warm welcome from Switzerland, from my side, to this webinar, Discover the Swiss Capital, with um, Mark Steffen from Bern Welcome. Here are some two pictures so that you can see at least um, who will talk today. So first of all, it's me. My name is Zoe Laporte. I'm based at the headquarter office of Switzerland Tourism in Zurich. And I'm working closely with uh, Dominic Oy, my colleague based in Singapore. I think most of you know her. And of course, she is your first person of contact when it comes to RFPs or other questions that you have for Switzerland. And you can at any time get in contact with her. And then we have Mark Steffen, as I said, um, our colleague from Bern. Welcome, the capital of Switzerland. I will pass the word over to him a little bit later. To start, I would like to show you some new openings and investments that are done for next year uh, or the uh, years to come. So a few new options that you can use for your groups when you come to Switzerland. First of all, it's the Radisson Blue Hotel in Andermatt. It's a four star hotel opening uh, at the end of this year, so really shortly. And it's very nice because you have to imagine that Radisson Blue, you know, certainly this hotel chain, it's the first time that they are opening a house in the mountains. And uh, Andermatt is a very upcoming destination that you can use in summer or in winter for groups. And they also have uh, the Chedi Andermatt, a five-star property close to it. So you have quite a few rooms up there now, also a golf course, um, some nice locations to do events. Then uh, we have in Bern also by the end of the year, year next year, uh, we'll open the Bristol Bern City with um, newly 188 rooms so it will be then the biggest hotel in Bern and we are really looking forward to it. Then we have uh, again a Radisson Blue opening in Geneva with 250 rooms. This one will only open in 2021 um, but it's a nice uh, will be very nice hotel nice location and especially in Geneva to have a few more uh, rooms it's also nice gives you more opportunities. Then not close, uh, not far away from uh, uh, from Geneva, we have uh, Lausanne, and there it's a Millennium Center opening in Crissier. It's next to the motorway, so very easy access, and about five to ten minutes from the city center. And it will be a nice uh, auditorium for up to 500 people, so really for big um, conferences with 10 conference room next to it as well for breakout sessions. This will open 2020. Here you have some pictures how it will look inside, so a very modern building. And then, of course, a very big project in Zurich. Maybe you have heard of the Circle. Um, that will also be ready by the end of next year. It's a cooperation with Hyatt. They will have two hotels inside with 550 rooms in total and big conference rooms uh, here, for example, the biggest one. And also what is very nice, they will have a rooftop terrace that you can use for events. And it's really next to the um, airport. So really easy access and people can fly in, fly out very easily. Then uh, we have in Basel, also uh, a new hotel opening next year. It's the Mervyn Peak Hotel with 260 rooms. Also here, very big meeting square facil uh, meeting facilities, 1,800 square meters for end of next year. So as you saw, there are quite a lot of upcoming um, investments that are done. And if you want to know more or you have more details to one of the projects, um, please get in contact with Dominic or myself and we will help you out. And now it's already time to go to Bern, our capital, so to Bern welcome. And uh, I will hand over the word to my colleague Mark, just a second. And now we should see Mark. You should see Mark's presentation soon. Can you see okay. it? Okay. Yeah, perfect. We can see everything and we can hear you. So perfect. now it's your time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Zoe. So hello and grüße uh, miteinander. This is how we say hello in Bern. Uh, my name is Mark Steffen and I'm your main contact at Bern Welcome for the city and the region of Bern. And now you are my incentive group. And for the next few minutes, 
I would like to invite you to join Bern. Um, first, we will make a city tour followed by a factory visit. Then we will do some unique and authentic activities. And finally, we will have dinner at the beautiful Gala dinner location. Well, let's start with general information for those who don't know exactly about Bern. To get to Switzerland's capital city, it's very easy. We are located in the middle of Europe and the heart of Switzerland, and you can reach us by train, car or airplane. Furthermore, direct high-speed train connections to all major European cities are guaranteed. Should your clients wish uh, to combine several countries on their Europe trip, it takes, for example, three hours from Milan or four hours from Frankfurt, four and a half from Paris to reach Bern. Well, Bern is an ideal hub to discover Switzerland on half day and day trips. Other Swiss destinations such as Zurich, Luzerne or the Bernese Alps are just one hour away. Geneva, Montreux or also Zermatt with the famous Matterhorn can be reached within two hours. Once you arrive in Bern, it is very easy to get around. Most sites are within walking distance. But if you prefer public transportation, you don't have to worry about tickets. Simply use our burn ticket. Every hotel guest receives automatically a burn ticket upon check-in. This is a nice add-on for your clients. And it includes free use of public transportation within the city, as well as free rides with the Mount Gordon and the Marsili Funicular and free entrance to our Grand Casino. And best thing, it already starts with your arrival at Bern Airport or the train station. Well, just simply simply show your hotel booking confirmation and enjoy the ride. Bern, as you see, is an architecture jewel surrounded by the bends of the River Aare that flows down from the Bernese Alps. And thanks to Bern's virtually intact medieval cityscape, the whole old town of the Swiss capital is declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. With its time-honored green sandstone building, or the six kilometers of arcades, we have historic towers, the tallest cathedral in Switzerland, and more than 10 uniquely painted Renaissance Figure fountains, Bern is one of the finest examples of medieval civic architecture in Europe. On this side, you see some facts and figures about the Swiss capital. For example, our language here in, in Switzerland is German in the Bernese part. And we are the political center of Switzerland. And the best way to explore the city is by booking your clients on one of our guided city tours as they can all be customized you have the choice so for an incentive trip i recommend a tour by scooter that's without motor as you see on a picture starting on the parliament square in front of the parliament building and by the way the um, most it's port uh, expensive square this is the Parliament Square in Switzerland because the Swiss National Bank stores our gold underground. And on the square, there are 26 fountains representing the cantons of Switzerland. And you should, should your clients be interested in our political system, book them on a tour uh, about our Parliament building. The tour is free of charge, but since it's very popular, make sure you book it early in advance. Well, we go on with our tour through the old town on the arcades. With its six kilometers of arcades, Bern has one of the European longest covered shopping promenades. It's very convenient and guarantee rain-free strolling and window shopping as well as a natural air condition during hot summers. So that's why I never need an umbrella when I'm shopping. It's very practical. Then we coming to um, the clock tower. This is a special highlight in the middle of the old town. Um, our clock tower, the Zeitglocke, uh, it burns all the most famous site. On an exclusive tour, it takes 50 minutes 
and the costs are 130 Swiss francs per group. You can even have a look at the inside at the medieval clockwork and follow its hourly performance step by step. But my personal suggestion is to climb up the very spire of the tower where you can enjoy a beautiful view of the Bernese alleys and the rooftops. For those who aim a bit higher, they can go to the close by cathedral, Münster, and climb over 344 steps up to the cathedral viewing platform. It's the highest steeple in Switzerland. Having climbed up to the top, visitors are rewarded with a magnificent view of the alleyways of the Bernal town, stretching as far as the Bernese middle land and to the snow-covered peaks like the Jungfrau Joch of the Bernese Oberland. And yes, Bern can be snow-covered as well in winter, as you can see here on a picture. The bear, it's our symbol. He is on our flag at the end of the old town. A park is dedicated to our heraldic animal. Um, the park is free of charge and open. And next to it is a tourist information and the restaurant with its own beer brewery. That's a nice suggestion for a group lunch, for example. The bear is also a symbol for slowness and fits perfect to the Bernese because Switzerland has watches, but Bern has the time. Tied to the laid back atmosphere, your customers find themselves in a relaxed atmosphere and find their time to focus really on the relevant if they have, for example, a meeting. Well, and now we give back our scooters and walk up a short gravel path to the Rose Garden. And this is my really favorite picture place. Here you can find over 200 different types of roses as well as a panoramic restaurant. Despite that the park offers the most spectacular view on the old town, a perfect spot is to relax a moment, enjoy the view and take lots and lots of pictures as you can see here as well. We finished our city tour and I would like to take you on an excursion to the close by Emmental Valley for a factory visit. It's on the left-hand side on the map and tour number one. So rolling hills, enchanting valleys, lush meadows, grazing cows with bells and romantic farmsteads, this breathtaking landscape in between Bern and Lucerne is the place where all traditions came into being and still are an active part of daily life. The first stop we do is at the Emmental Show Dairy. I'm sure you all know the cheese with the holes. Abroad, the Emmental cheese is often simply called Swiss cheese. Well, the little cheese village in Affolten gives you an up close look at the production of the world renowned Emmental cheese. It's all year um, around open and it's free of charge. Explore the four generations there of production facilities during a one-hour guided tour or independently with the audiovisual guide. Furthermore, there is a cheese shop, bakery, a craft shop and a panoramic restaurant for up to 60 people. There are several offers for hands-on experiences. For example, make your own cream cheese at the Emmental Show Dairy. For FITs, this takes very, uh, place every day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and costs about 7 Swiss francs per person. Or for incentive groups, I can recommend you the cheese making workshop over an open fire in a typical Swiss herdman's cottage built in 1741. As you can see on the picture on the left hand side, this unique experience costs 390 Swiss francs and takes then two hours. If you are more into sweets, go and visit Comble Experience, which is located in the Emmental Valley as well. Comble is Switzerland's most famous biscuit brand. For the centennial, the very first Comble bakery from 1910 has been rebuilt. 
So an audiovisual exhibition takes you on a journey through the history of Combly, including a peek into the future as well. In the Combly confectionery, you can pick up a few tricks of the trade while watching the confectioners at work. In the factory store, they offer a free tasting of more than 100 types of their cookies, so you can choose your very own favorite. And groups can bake their own pretzel biscuits. And Comely Experience is open all year round with free admission. They actually have an offer that combines the Emmental Show Dairy with a guided tour at the Comble Experience with pretzel biscuit baking, including lunch. So you can see the round trip with the starting point in Bern on the left hand side. And in my opinion, it's really great value for less money. Of course, you can reach all the different sites in the Emmental by coach or public transportation. But why not travel part of the way in an active or ecological way? The e-bike works with an electric motor that doubles your manpower and so leaves you with enough time and energy to sample the nature scenery and culinary delights of the region. So you can see firsthand where the famous flyer Swiss electric bikes are manufactured. You can learn about the flyer's development from its origins to today on a guided tour. And at the end, you have the chance to go on a short tour e-bike as well. Before we go for a gala dinner, we do some activities together and I'm sure after that we are all starving. I put together some proposals for outdoor and indoor. Well, discover the city of Bern from a new perspective during a rafting tour along the Adder River, mighty sandstone bridges, narrow half timbered houses and the natural curves of the river landscape makes this really an exciting trip. The tour is actually available from June to September and on request. But best, you can also swim in the clear water of the Arder River. The capital offers the largest and most frequented river pool in Switzerland called the Marzili and there is no entry fee. In summertime, Countless of Bernese make this refreshing experience either during lunch break or after work. And I tell you, better cooling down you can't get in Switzerland. Now we're going to the countryside and you have the chance to be an Olympic champion. Who's going to win Olympic gold in the cow milking or farm golf competition? Your group can have its very own Olympic Games on one of many farms. These are all within 40 minutes of burn. Choose the type and number of disciplines based on your interest and budget. So it's for a group up to 300 people. Now we are coming to an indoor activity and you can be a little bit creative. For example, at the perfume workshop, be inspired to create your own personal fragrance. Bridget Witchy, the owner, will guide you through an exclusive perfume workshop, assisting you in finding the appropriate essences to refine and customize your preferences, then resulting in your own creation. And your fragrance will be taken home in a lovely, elegant bottle, and it's recycled, listed, and noted for repeated orders, for example. Groups can cook together over an open flame, take archaic fire tours and enjoy other culinary experience. So this is really back to the simple and sustainable things in life, back just to chilling. Since unusual places don't always have electricity, you'll be cooking with enough fire pot over an open flame and embers, creating both old and new dishes from all around the world. For example, on the picture on the left hand side, uh, the event takes place at the old bear pit in Bern. And this is really a fun activity that helps you slow down and grow closer together as a team. It starts from 80 Swiss francs, 
per person. But we create not only perfumes and cook on unusual places, we also paint our own paintings. The creative workshops at the Centrum Paul Klee makes it possible. Since 10 years, the Centrum Paul Klee, you see on the right picture, has been presenting the world's most important collection of works by Bernice painter Paul Klee. This is one of the most important painters of the 20th century. However, the Centrum Paul Klee is more than just a museum. It is a multifunctional center, an important example of landscape architecture, as you see. It was designed by the Italian star architect Renzo Piano. And if you have a group interested in architecture, I can suggest a guided tour there as well. Furthermore, they offer conference rooms at the highest standard. I'm sure you all know Albert Einstein. But did you know that Albert Einstein was living in Bern for several years? And this was exactly during that period of time when he created his theory of relativity. His tiny former apartment, it's within the UNESCO old town, the so-called Einstein House, can be visited. It's really a unique experience to stand in the rooms where he used to live. In addition, our historical museum hosts the world's first Einstein Museum. The museum is situated in a castle in a beautiful park with coach parking in front of the museum and in an area of approximately 1,000 square meter of exhibition space, you can find about 550 origin, original objects, films, and much more. And they offer also a group package, including a one-hour guided tour in the museum, a discount voucher at the museum's shop, and an Einstein souvenir. The net rate for this is 150, Swiss francs per group plus um, 13 Swiss francs per person entry fee. If your clients have a Swiss travel pass, so the entry is free of charge. The museum is open every day except Monday. Now it brings me to the culinary highlights and unique banquet venues. I guess as, after all these tours, visits and activities, you are really starving and join me for a delicious gala dinner. And it's not only all about fondue and cheese. An authentic culinary experience always takes place in one of Bern's typical cellar restaurants. The most magnificent and impressive one is our granary, the Cornhouse Keller, with its impressively painted walls its cellar in the middle of the old town. They cultivate the original Italian cuisine, as well as traditional Swiss um, cuisine with Bernese specialities. And the restaurant is for up to 700 people. A unique construction in a unique setting with a unique view. This is how to best sum up the pavillon on Bern's local mountain, the Gurten. In less than 30 minutes, you can reach the mountain from the train station. Taking the panoramic funicular on the Mount Gurten, it's an experience itself because it's free of charge with the burn ticket. And on top of the mountain, it's uh, around 846 meters above sea level, you enjoy the amazing view of the city and the Alps. And the pavilion with a huge window front takes up to 500 people for a gala dinner. From the mountain, we go down to the riverside to the Schwellen Matali restaurant. The spacious outdoor area stretches out above the river, providing a resting view of the parliament building and the cathedral against the backdrop of the old town. The second restaurant, Casa, is at the edge of a gravel courtyard. It's a half-timbered house for a, for example, casual Italian dinner. And the third building is the event lounge with its large wall of windows. The lounge looks out upon the current of the Aare. The building is remarkably long, having once served as a bowling alley, and it's a very popular place 
among night owls as well. Located only 20 minutes away from Bern, the castle Hünigen is situated in Konolfingen, in the middle of a romantic park with over 3,000 roses. The 400-year-old castle equipped with the most modern comfort, the extraordinary infrastructure with all up-to-date amenities, first-class service level and the high-level hospitality guarantee you a successful stay. And by the way, if you plan your honeymoon, this would be a perfect place for you. Last but not least, I come up with a firework of a location, 27 conference rooms, four restaurants, two bars, one grand casino. This is the Coors Alburn. Furthermore, the Coors Alburn compromises its own multi-story parking facility at the four-star Superior Lifestyle Hotel Allegro with its 171 rooms and deluxe penthouse floor plus a spacious 2,000 square meters forum for exhibitions, receptions, and gala dinners. This all-in-one venue is centrally located and offers you a beautiful view of Bern's historic old town and snowy alps of the Bernese Oberland. Now, after this eventful day we did together, I'm almost at the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoy the instructive day in Bern. Hopefully you are agree that Bern is a lot more than just the Swiss capital, the gateway to the Alps or the native region of the Emmental cheese. The destination Bern is your ideal location for meetings and incentives of all kind. Finally, I just want to share some information with you, which are very useful for your clients. Um, next to gala dinner options, I would like to share with you our Chinese and Asian restaurants. All of them are in the city of Bern. Especially, I would like to point out the restaurant view at Hotel Allegro for incentive groups with more than 100 overnights. They can stay in another hotel as well, not only in Allegro. They offer 40% off at the Asia Dream Buffet a discretion. With a total of 41, um, no, 51 hotels, Bern has 2,549 rooms. For your incentive groups, I can recommend to you the two five-star hotels. It's the Hotel Bellevue Palace in Bern, which belongs to the government and is part of the very well-known Victoria Jungfrau collection. Or on the other side, there is the Hotel Schweizer of Bern and Spa. Both hotels are centrally located and leading hotels of the world. And the best part I saved for the end, in cooperation with um, Skip, we create a support policy for MICE groups from Asia. It starts from small VIP groups and already with 100 overnights or more per group, every participant gets a welcome kit delivered to the hotel. Further on, you can choose one of the following. It's a free guided city tour in your own coach, free entrance to the Einstein Museum, a free guided tour to the Emmental Show Dairy in Affolten, or 40% off at the Asia Dream Buffet at Discretion at Hotel Allegro. And with 150 overnight, you get for your group in Swiss Accordion Music Group, it's booked by Burn Welcome. And with 200, you get on top, uh, you get on top a welcome speech by Burn Welcome. I hope I convinced you. And uh, so I can only say thanks for choosing Burn. And with these words, I finish my presentation and thank you very much for your attention. By this occasion, I would like to thank you as well for all your promotions and sales for you are doing for the destination burn. Really appreciate. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. My details are here listed. And I'm pleased to support you in putting together your burn program. So keep in touch and don't forget, burn is easy to reach, but hard to leave. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Mark. I think it was a very interesting presentation. At least I even learned something that I didn't know. It was this chill food cooking that I think it's really nice option to do something completely different and I've never heard of it. So I thought it's quite interesting. And also for you, of course, for the groups, I mean, the burn ticket or using the Swiss travel pass to have free entry to the museums and use the public transport into the city is a very nice option. And this picture here for the ones um, who have not been to Rose Garden, it's this place where Mark said it's his, uh, well, preferred place in Bern. And I have to say also one of mine to do a very nice picture. And here it's a picture of the last Asia trophy we did um, where we also stopped in Bern. Now, if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask them to us or to write them to us. Better because in your uh, go to webinar control panel where you locked yourself in, you should have uh, one of the menu points or squares uh, where you can answer, uh, enter your answers or your questions. Sorry, um, we already have one question, so I will read this one out loudly and I leave time for the others. Please um, just fill in your questions and we will reply to them. So the question is 100 overnight, is that mean 50 room? two nights, so then I will entitle for it. Uh, it's for the support policy, I think, Mark. So uh, yeah, would you exactly. also accept if it's tw two nights, 50 rooms? Yes, two nights. I mean, in total for the group, they have to stay um, one or at the total 100 overnights. So you can come with a group uh, for one night with 100 people, or if you have a group for 50, you have to stay then two nights. If you are less than 50, then I mean, it's, it has to sum up at the end 100 overnight in Bern. Then you get okay. it. Okay, perfect. So, um, dear uh, Anna Tan, um, please get in contact with Dominic for this concern and she will then coordinate it or we will coordinate it um, with uh, Mark Stefan. Are there any other questions? So for the moment, I have nothing else on my screen, but maybe we give one or two mi one minute so that they can enter the questions. Okay, doesn't seem to have any questions anymore. Ah, oh, no, there's one coming. Um, is burn ticket is giving a way for every FIT people who stay a night in Bern. Yes, that's right. So everybody who has an overnight, even if it's a group, FIT, they book directly or through um, an operator or a travel agency, it doesn't matter. So as soon as they have a hotel confirmation from Bern, they get the Bern ticket at the check-in at the reception. It doesn't have to be a hotel, it's also at the Yauf Hostel um, or in B2B, so that's also possible. Yeah, and it's a very nice service to use. Um, then a uh, question, if we have halal restaurant in the list, um, I think on the one you showed on your picture wasn't one, right? Yes, halal? we have a so halal um, restaurant. I can um, send you a separate list then as well for halal restaurant. Um, well, they are mixed on with vegetarians, but the two five-star hotels, um, the Schweizer of and the Bellevue, they provide for sure halal food as well. And we do have some, um, some Indian or Arabic restaurants as well. They are not listed in the presentation, but um, I would like to send you this then afterwards. Perfect. So Anna, we will send you this and also um, I will send you a link to our website where we have all the restaurants from whole Switzerland, an overview also with the halal restaurants and Asian restaurants. OK, so if there are not any other questions, um, well, I, we have to thank you for uh, joining us uh, for this last webinar of this year. So for 2018, we closed up with the capital of Switzerland, with Bern, and then we will get in touch with you for next year's when we ha will have new webinaries on new topics. And we would be very happy if we could you welcome you back again with us. Now we wish you a nice evening and say thank you for listening and we hope to see you soon in Switzerland. Thank you very much and bye. Thank you, bye.